Mental Fox here with another episode in my playthrough of Skyrim. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're in this, um... Uh, it's like a Dwemer Ruins place. If you look at the quest that we're on, we're on this quest called the Lost Expedition. And, uh, we found out about this. We found a dead body down here. <laughs> this Alethius guy. And, uh, he had, like, a note or a journal on him. Uh, Alethius's notes here where he says we've been saddled with some researchers who can't go four steps without examining something and uh, they fight about as well as you'd think probably worse Strom at least has some magical competence but none of them can swing a sword urge and crag seem up to something so I'll have to keep an eye on them but Staubin assures me they're trustworthy and for some reason this uh, note started a quest here that I just referred to. I should try and find the researchers Alethius mentioned in his note. And we do that by recovering Strom's journal. That's what we're doing. And if we look at the map, uh, we will see that uh, we need to go over here. So let's go out of here and walk around this way and see if we can't recover Strom's journal. That's what we're going to do. This is a pretty neat place. I really like these uh, ruins here. It's pretty cool stuff. Lots of farmer down here. Scummy farmer. Hmm, interesting. Um, do I want to be up here or do I want to be down below? Looks like I want to be up here, but now I'm wondering. Have I been down below? I don't remember. Are we down here already? I don't know, let's take a quick look. Okay. Uh, those aren't doors. They kind of looked like it. I think I remember walking past this before. These all hallways all might lead to the same place. I don't know. Yeah, we've definitely been here. Dead bodies. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Oh, wow, there's a bunch of them here. Oh, my. Oh, oh, it's Karis. Boy, I don't feel like my... Uh, Fireballs are doing as much damage as I would like. She's still fighting that Chorus. Nice job. You were just absolutely badass, Janessa. Have I told you that lately? Arrows and an ear and some gold and some flesh and some poison. And you've got some gold and I'll take your ears, both of your ears. I don't know why I don't always take both of their ears. Sometimes I take one, sometimes I take none. I don't know why. Gold, nightshade. Man, we got a party here, man. Look at this party. Ear, gold, arrow, or Yeah, lots of dudes here. Hist carp. Okay. I was not expecting that to happen because I saw these dead bodies here and I'm like, oh yeah, we've already been here. And then uh, we get attacked. The hell are we? I'm trying to get my bearings. Have I been here? Huh. Um, wow, this place is kind of big, huh? Well, this is what we came here to get. And oddly enough, there's a dead farmer here. Oh, and there's a, oh, here's Strom. Okay, so those bodies down there uh, were not killed by me. They were killed by Strom. Maybe not Strom, but maybe, oh, son of a bitch, damn it. Um, maybe these uh, guards killed these farmers. Maybe. Let's see what we got here. We've got, uh, might as well take this coin purse. I mean, come on. Uh, otherwise, this touch is gonna lie here, right? And, uh, Strom, what you got, Strom? Oh, okay. I've decided to remain behind with one of our guards and further document the living area we've stumbled across. I write this to the best of my ability, but due to the sudden disappearance of the Dwemer, it is almost impossible to say for certain what anything is. The tree. By the nine, I cannot determine the purpose of this tree. It appears to be from the area around Whiterun, but why and how it got here is beyond me. I think it may be a gift from the surface world, but based on the lavish surroundings, it could also be a display of power. 
I'll check the living areas nearby for any additional clues. Hmm. The area around Whiterun, huh? Living areas. Upon further investigation of the area, it looks like this structure houses two clans or families. I can think of no other reason for this particular layout. Perhaps this group oversaw this particular portion of the city? I'll have to compare notes from the other areas as we uncover more of the city. Hopefully some of those will contain more in-depth clues. It appears a smaller wing collapsed on itself, and maybe when the expedition returns we can dig out an entrance. Falmer have begun to creep back into this area of the ruins. It's a good thing I am not alone here. Okay. And finally, we've managed to block off some of the areas we suspect the Falmer were coming in through, but they're still getting it, getting to us somehow. Together, we are able to hold them back, but how long until Stauben and the rest return? Well, let's go ahead and take that. We've recovered Strom's journal. Now we're going to recover Urge's journal and Crag's journal, and we might as well go ahead and take his really cool uh, mage robes. It's common soul gem while we're at it. Sorry, dude. Hate to leave you there like that. So that's kind of interesting to me. Uh, the book was actually on this table, but I, when I searched his body, the game... There are those who believe that the entire Grummer race uh -huh. will one day return just as suddenly as it vanished. Uh -huh. um, w w when I went to loot his body, the game made me pick up the book. So that was kind of interesting, I guess. Okay, we have more uh, journals to find. And... <laughs> There's uh, a lot of pathways here. There's a pathway down here. And apparently their journals are in Nishuan Zell. Huh. But uh, we're not done exploring this place here, so we're going to go ahead and continue exploring it. I mean, leave no path unexplored. That's my motto. Bunch of crap here that's cool looking, but isn't worth as much as it weighs, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe maybe if I was crafting dwarven armor I might want this crap. I don't know. Okay, here we go. A couple more dead Falmers here. Not killed by me. But by golly, I'm going to loot them as if I did kill them. Here is the body of an Imperial s soldier. He doesn't have anything I'm interested in. Oh. What's going on here? What's this all about? Got a lever here. Poison. Virulent poison. A Dwemer dish. What's going on in here? What? What is all this? Who? Who is torturing who and why? All right, that is messed up. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I don't know who, I don't know why. I don't think that the Falmer are doing this. That is weird. Huh. Looks like there's a walkway up there. Hmm. Buddy, I don't know, that's a weird one. Uh, that's... I can't explain that. But uh, this looks like the dead end of this path. We're going to go up here and go around in this area next and see what's over there. Because it's fun to explore. Let's see if there's any more Falmer left alive. There is. Hey, what's up? Falmer Gloom Lurker here. I think I caught Janassa on fire instead of him. Boy, he hits hard. <laughs> he hits hard. Mr. Gloom Lurker here. Remember, was it the last episode or the episode before when I upped the difficulty? So I guess maybe they hit a little harder now. But with Janassa with me, I think I'm going to be okay. She just absolutely kicks ass, man. She's totally awesome. Let's do a little bit more sneaking. I saw that spider over there. This is quite ornate. 
Oh, hey, what's up, man? What's up, Mr. Spider? <laughs> nice. Eh, we'll creep. We'll creep. We'll keep creeping. Okay, what's this thing? A dresser. A Dwemer dresser. Uh, a Dwemer gyro, which looks neat, but no, thank you. Scrap metal. Nope. Gold. Not interested. Well, the gold I'm interested in, yeah. Huh, a bed here. Here's a dresser. Some gold. Some more crap I'm not going to bother to carry. So, the Dwemer... Uh, apparently, we're just like us. They have bedrooms and dressers and beds and decorations. A Dwarven shield. I guess that's kind of cool. But I don't think it's worth taking either. Janassa's ready for action. You can always count on Janassa for some action. Let's go on over there. What's up, Mr. Spider? Hmm. Like a barracks kind of thing here, maybe. I mean, it's some cool looking stuff. This chest is kind of neat. That elven helmet's worth taking. Sapphire is certainly worth taking. Boy, a lot of this stuff is just not obvious what it is, right? So much of this stuff just looks like decoration, but then you get close to it and you find out that it's actually a chest or something. So, what am I looking at in that direction? It looks like there's another room over there. Yeah, just... Caved in... Stuff. Okay, it just takes us right back around here. Uh, I thought we'd see Janassa come running around. There she is. Okay, well, uh, I guess that'll do it for this place. Now, I need to figure out how to get back to Enchuanzel, or however you say it. And I don't know if it's down here or up above, and uh, I'm thinking I went the wrong way, but we'll, f we'll find it, don't worry. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. It is remarkable, isn't it? She's really interested in history. Well, the game's telling me to go this way, and the quest says recover Staubin's journal, Urge's journal, and Crag's journal. I've, I've discovered Strom's corpse. Maybe if I venture deeper into Enchuan's cell, I can find the rest of the group. Hopefully they're still alive. Well, you keep on hoping, bud. I'm pretty sure they're dead. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh, interesting. Where do we go from here? Sending me in this direction. Did I kill you? Well, there's some arrows there I didn't pick up from him, even though they are just dumb old Falmer arrows, but... Hmm. Got a ramp going down here. There's a chest over there, I think. Uh, Janessa, I'm gonna leave you behind here. Let's see if this works. Ready? What? Not cast! <laughs> that just sounded funny to me. Uh, gold, lockpicks, potion, ooh, a ring of extreme health. Wow, that thing's worth a lot. And Steel Shield of Dwindling Shock. And this is going to take us into some quarters, but um, it's interesting. I mean, I we've already been in the quarters. Uh, and I guess maybe I found this door and didn't go... <laughs> nice job, Janassa. Uh, maybe I found that door and didn't go through it before. Well, uh, if I want to get down from here... Um, I mean, I, I wonder if I could just drop... Let's see. Okay. Well, that's strangely anticlimactic. Um, let's go into the armory. This is fun. We're getting a tour of the place while we look for dead bodies. Ah, oh, it's getting the cr cr crouch mode, creeping around mode. Let's see, we've got an up and a down. Let's just stay down here for now. I don't know. Just pick one. Quiet. Hmm, there's a gate here. This is kind of neat. 
What's the story with the gate? Well, let's unlock the gate with our skills, man. We're very skilled at picking locks. Let's put those skills to use, shall we? Now poo. Hmm. A pretty tough one. Did uh, picking locks get harder when I increased the difficulty? I don't think so. Um, are those Dwemer robot thingies? They're gonna attack me when I get up here? Whoa. Look at this place. Neat. These things are gonna attack me. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. So we got a farmer here in a very compromising position. His head is like in the ground. Very undignified. Oh, look at that thing. Cool. Look at that guy. Neat. Urge. I have the urge to read his notes. <laughs> this is probably a dumb idea walking in here. Uh, we're going to take his gold and some flesh. Why do these guys always have human flesh on them? What's the deal with Farmer? Look at these cool things, man. Look at this guy. This is awesome. And this guy. Wow. Very cool. Urge. How foolish to move through this place so quickly. It's taken me only a few hours to crack the back gate. Maybe I'll donate a cup or two, but Crag says he knows some private buyers who will pay handsomely, handsomely for a working trinket. There has to be one in here. The side doors are all locked, but this chest should have one or two things of value. When I get out, I'm going to buy myself a castle. So this is like an archaeolo archaeological site, and he is taking the stuff to sell it. Not good. Oh, okay. That's all there is here. Well, we recovered his journal. Uh, I'm taking his robes and his this ear. Hmm. So, did these things come alive and kill him? Did the farmer kill him? Did they kill each other? What happened? I don't know. But we found his journal. It didn't really tell us a whole lot. Oh man, this is going to take expert skills to unlock. Let's get ready to uh, break some lockpicks. Oh man, so close. I thought I had it. Nice. Lockpicking increased. We got a chest here. Dwarven oil. All right. Ebony sword of fire. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Uh, Potion of Plentiful Healing, Ring of Recuperation, Steel Plate Gauntlets of Eminent Alchemy. Okay. That's pretty cool stuff, I guess. <laughs> I was giving that guy a hard time about taking stuff that belongs in a museum. Here I am taking it, and all I'm going to do is sell it, but I'm not, I'm not a researcher, man. It's okay if I do it. Uh, let's unlock this mofo. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did you see that? That was awesome. Uh, and here we've got, uh, dwarven armor. Dwarven shield. Dwarven helmet. Dwarven gauntlets. I mean, it's all pretty cool stuff, but it doesn't quite match the value to weight ratio that I'm looking for. It's pretty cool stuff, though. I mean, Dwarven Armor, we take a look at it, and uh, we'll see that um, it's heavy armor. Its base armor rating is 88, uh, compared to my Nordic Carved Armor, which is up to 126. I mean, I have improved it, but um, it seems like this would take a lot of improving to get it up to 126, for crying out loud. So we're just going to go ahead and drop this. Dwarven armor, like I said, the value to weight ratio just isn't worth it. And I feel like I've already got much better armor. 
Uh, here's a gate that we could just open. Hmm, a little chest here. One gold piece. Um, we got a walkway here. These ruins and the mechanical inhabitants are all that remain of the Dwemer. Oh, yeah. And then in that direction. Hmm, boy, it's really hard to say which way to go here. Oh, look at that. You must have tripped something. Hope you like fire, buddy, because I got some more for you. Ow. Oh, Skeever. Just happened. She stepped on this. Oh, okay. There we go. I see. So, dude's got a ward going here. Oh, stand in the fire, doof. Janessa, said, don't stand in the fire. Yeah, stop it. You're ruining my plans. My plans to loot this place. Uh, gold. Hmm. Arrow. Namira's Rot. Staff of Firebolts. Okay. <laughs> Janessa, get all the fire! <laughs> and a skeever. Hmm. So this... <laughs> Do your worst! Do your worst, trap. Look at this guy. Hey, buddy. Just for you. Gotta stay ahead of Janassa so she doesn't get into the line of fire. Oh, hey. What's up, Mr. Falmer? Die already. Look at all the arrows sticking out of him, it's great. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm getting uh, lost. There was the place back here. Where are we on the map now? Now where are we over here? There was another place back here that I didn't investigate, and we didn't go up there either. Let's go back a little bit. A little bit of backtracking. I just want to walk over there and see if there's anything over here. Um, well, depends on how you define anything. There's nothing I am interested in in there. So we will continue our walk in this direction. See what's up here. Oh, there's a door there we want to go through. But I'm not done exploring this place, so I don't want to go through it yet. What is this place? Is this going to take us back out to. Yeah, Schwanzel. However you say it. Uh, I don't want to go there yet. Because. I mean, the map would seem to indicate we've already seen everything in here, but I'm not sure we have. Doors there. That's where we came in. That's where we came in, and I was like, we did, we could either go up or down, or stay down. And I stayed down. This is just the other way. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I'm oh, good. I feel like I've just about seen everything, unless there's something back here. Oh, I think we're good, man. Okay. All right. Let's uh, go through this door. See if we can't recover more journals. Back 
how to end Schwand Zell. Oh, body right here. Baked potatoes. Imperial soldier, not looking so good, man. This place is neat. Look at this guy. What is up, bro? I wouldn't want to face that guy in battle. Sithis. Crag. Goat cheese wedge. Here's Crag's journal. I knew if we dug deep enough, we'd eventually hit some fresh ruins. Markarth, a city built upon a city. From early pieces recovered, we've determined the name of the city is Enschwanzel, but past that we have very little info. We've been given an escort, though, and tomorrow we will delve into the city proper. It's only been a day, and I already miss my desk and chair. I thought it would be a little more fun to explore, but so far it's just been fighting spiders and getting to view an occasional rubble pile. Hopefully we get to the main ruin soon so we can set up a camp and I can start cataloging some of the items I've been able to find. We found the armory earlier and Urge has stayed behind to find a way into the main vault. If anyone can open the locks, it's him. We've kept going and settled up here for the night, since the guards say it will be easy to defend. I've put up a few runes just in case. Ah, man. Well, didn't work, did it? Didn't work. There's a book here called Sithis that the game seems to think that I've already read. I don't remember this book. Um, and if I look in my uh, my notes here, I have no, no record of reading it. But we're going to go ahead and have her pick it up nonetheless. Will do. That it. That's it. Got another Imperial soldier here. And we still have one more journal to retrieve, and it's going to be through those doors. This is a really neat place. Uh, into control. Hmm, okay. Let's see what is up with control. Yeah, Stau Stauben. He's the only one left. Let's look at the map real quick. This could be a pretty big place. See if we can hit him from here. Mm, yeah, I think I did hit him. Gloom lurker up there. Oh, I got one here too. Let's go get this mofo. I don't like you shooting at me, jerk. I think I must have stepped on something. Okay, he's down. Come on, Janassa. Finish him off. What do you got? Anything good? Mm, arrows, ear gold. I think I need to take some health, man. Something's hitting me. Not sure what exactly. Better run. Oh, he's healing himself, but to no avail. Ear. Gold. Arrow. Poison. I don't know if I stepped on a trap or what, but um, it seemed like there were things being shot at me from over that direction, but uh, I don't know what happened, really. But it hurt, man. Uh, there's another dude down here. Got something for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. The range. Blue marker coming in. Let's see if we could finish off the... Uh, Arrow shooting guy back here. Oh, look at him. Got right in his way. Protecting his buddy. 
Okay, one down. I don't... Die, damn you. Yeah, hey you, die. Oh, this is gonna hurt. No, I got him instead. Cool. Ooh, I was worried there for a moment. Got a critical critical strike on him. All right, gloom lurker. Why don't you go lurk somewhere else? Go lurk your gloom elsewhere. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, and you, sir, give me your cyrodiilic spade tail and your arrows and your ear and your gold and your poison. Give it all to me. There's a body over there. There are scholars in Cyrodiil who have dedicated their lives to solving the mystery of the Dwemer's disappearance. Oh yeah? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh hey, look, I'm gonna take these gold pieces here. I'm gonna search this satchel and take everything inside of it. That's what I do, man. That's what I do. Here we go. Little chest here. What do we got? Gold, potion, some kind of elixir. Well, unfortunately, Stalbin didn't make it either. That's a shame. Stalbin's diary. After making our way down the mine and through the spiders, we finally made it down to Enschwanzel proper. They've built this city into the very cave walls that house it. Amazing. Enschwanzel hums with life, but its guardians lay dormant. Hopefully we can learn more as we go deeper. This area seems to be where two of the city's families lived. We've spent some time studying this tree outside the dwellings, but cannot figure out what its significance is. Strom will be remaining behind with one of the students to further study this area in greater depth. I look forward to reading his notes on the subject. Today we entered the city's armory. The Falmer have yet to break into the best of the dwarven goods thanks to the sturdy Dwemer locks. Urge said he would be able to get into the vaults and would send word when he's in. The spiders gave us much trouble, but who could have foreseen they've been the only thing keeping Markarth safe? Huh, what does that mean? After exiting the armory, we made camp, but the Falmer have been watching us and finally tired of our intrusion. They came while we slept and slaughtered what guards were left. Meridia, forgive me for using my students as a distraction to get away, but I have to bring this place back to life. Too many. Couldn't hit switch, but had plenty of time to write this last sentence. Well, now we need to reactivate Enchuan Zell's automated defenses. Why the hell do I want to do that? It, appear it appears the entire potty... Potty? Really, dude? It appears the entire party was wiped out trying to reactivate the city's defenses. I need to find the lever Stauben's journal mentioned and activate it. Okay, why though? Why am I doing this? Isn't that going to kill me? I'm going to bring all those things we saw a while back to life and then I'm going to have to destroy them anyway, aren't I? I don't know. I just don't know. This place is really neat. I dig it. Come on, Janessa. Somebody's eyeballing me. Oh. Ooh, do I, oh. The what? Oh, ooh, ooh. Eat. What the? Whoa. I think they were dropping down from up above. Interesting. You guys have anything good on you? Mm. Common soul gem, I'll take that. Common soul gem. Cool. I like it. Uh, there were four of them here, but I feel like I only looted three of them. Guardian. We got a worker. We got a guardian. We got another worker. And uh, another guardian? 
And another worker? Okay, this must be the one that I didn't loot. Okay. Well, that was kind of cool in a way. Don't know why they suddenly decided to attack Farmer over there. What's up? What's going on? What am I looking at? There's something moving over there. I think it was another little Dwemer thingy. So are the Farmer... I guess the Farmer... Okay. Farmer's destroying these things, I think. Common Soul Gem, some Bolts, a Garnet, Greater Soul Gem. Good stuff, man. What about you? Dwarven Sphere, Bolts, Oil, Filled Greater Soul Gem? I guess that's what powers these things, these Soul Gems, huh? Well, this could be very lucrative. I tell you, that Falmer did a hell of a job against these things. Where'd he go? I mean, I did see one walking, didn't I? I thought I did. Where'd you go, bro? There he is. Just a regular old Falmer skulker. Okay, that was kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Was he going to flip the switch? Is that why he was here? Ah, there's a chest here. Amethyst. Dwarven Bow of Depleting. El Ebony Bow of Depleting. Gold Ring of Smithing. That's the second one of those I've gotten. <laughs> Gate here. Yeah, interesting. I can't open it. Um, potion of extreme healing here. A former bow. Uh huh. They were no shorter than humans. Yes, yes, yes. So here's the lever we're supposed to activate. Okay. Find someone who knows about the expedition. I've successfully activated the city's remaining automatons. They should be more than capable of driving the remainder, remaining Falmer out. I should see if anyone is looking for the expedition. Find someone who knows about the expedition. Okay, you say so. So, I mean, I hope I don't have to fight the Dwemer automatons. I didn't come all this way to reactivate them, just to destroy them. I mean, they would attack me too, wouldn't they? Because I am an intruder myself. What do we got here? A chest. This is my reward, I guess. For all my hard work. Gold, necklace, ruby, a scroll of harmony. Some pretty good stuff in there. But... How do I get down from here other than just falling off an edge? Well, let's see where the little marker thing takes us. Um, also, let's look at the map and see if there's any place I haven't explored yet. Oh, let's just go down there. Looking pretty well explored, right? What do you say? Hiding is so cool. Look at it. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Great shadows. How long it'll take for Janassa to get down here. This is going to take us back out to Enschwanzel. Oh, oh, okay. So we've got the automatons fighting the farmer. I'm going to try to stay out of this fight. Oh, there's a dude down there. He's fighting them as well. Look at this, he's fighting some gloom lurkers. Dwarven Centurion is actually not really doing a very good job. He's almost dead. I mean, that gloom lurker is barely even scratched. Jeez. I mean, come on. 
the hell, Dwarven Centurion? Oh, darn it. Oh, poop. He's healing. Oh, I didn't see his health go back up. I just saw him glowing. God, the physics are so good. You just roll down that hill there just like you'd expect him to. I mean, it just seems so natural that you really don't even realize what the game is doing. How difficult it is. How much work it takes to get software to do that. This Dwarven Centurion, he's got an Amethyst on him. A Centurion Dynamo Core. How could I not take that? Look at that thing. Some Dwarven Oil. A Flawless Ruby. Some Glass Arrows. And a Filled Grand Soul Gem. Well, thank you for taking that guy out, Mr. Falmer. Where's the Falmer that he killed? This is him. Ear. Gold potion. Uh, so, let's see what's going on up here. We came from that way. Boy. <laughs> the farmer live. Look at this. <laughs> the place is still crawling with farmer. <laughs> These stupid automatons didn't do crap against the farmer, man. Moonstone ore. That sounds pretty cool, but... <sighs> Fine, I'll mine it. I mean, a lot of this stuff I just buy now when I'm selling stuff to smiths. Um, but Moonstone, I don't know, sounds kind of cool. Let's go ahead and mine it. And I go through the trouble of carrying this stupid pickaxe around, so I might as well go ahead and do a little bit of mining here. Draw some attention to us. But I mean, what the hell, automatons? You did such a crappy job. I mean, look, this stupid farmer gloom workers left. I mean, jeez, he just did a terrible job, man. I don't think a single one of them survived. At least that centurion killed one farmer. Nice. Don't fall off the edge or I won't be able to loot you. There he goes. Oh, well. Where are we? Okay, that's where we're supposed to go. Well, let's finish these farmer off, man. I can't... I'm not going to leave this place un, uncleansed. Are you kidding me? Plus, there's uh, Dwarven Spheres to loot. I cannot believe that they did such a crappy job against the farmer. <laughs> Look, I can still loot this Gloom Lurker. It's freaking awesome. Look at those two guys sitting over there. What's up? What's up, my lurkers? <laughs> you know what? That's so funny. I, I forgot that I'm not using fire breath anymore. I've been using unrelenting force. Totally forgot. Oh, darn it. Hey. Let's go hit my friend. Two handed's increased. That's nice. Janessa, Jan Jan get out of the way. Janessa! Man, I don't even have a health bar. I did nothing to me. Ears. Gold. Potion. Did I get you? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a chest. It's not. It's just some decorations. You can't tell, man. Another Dwarven Sphere that was absolutely useless in its task. Just useless, man. Look at another one over here. Okay. Uh, so, there's the quarters. We've already been here, so let's go back over here to where the game is pointing us. That's what I've heard. Back out to the excavation site. Oh, 
here's Aletheus here. So we need to go all the way back out. Ouchies. These nasty ass spiders, man. I think they're so gross. Well, that's not the way out. I knew that. I was just looking. That was a cool place. I like that in there. That was neat. Back to under, Understone Keep. And I guess we're going to tell these guys out here about what happened. Calselmo being one of them. What's up? I have things to study. What is it? Oh, you're going to want to hear this. The artifacts I've discovered in Nishuan Zell will make history one day. Mm -hmm. I killed that spider you wanted me to kill in the last episode. You have my gratitude. That spider had been interfering with my excavations for months. As promised, it is the key to the Dwemer Museum. Mind the displays, some of them are quite fragile. Okay, we got a Dwemer Museum key added. And, um, check this out, dude. I found this expedition journal. Let's see. Ah, so that's what happened to Stavon. Tragic. But I warned him he was leading those people on a fool's errand. Unfortunately, sometimes the stone of scholarship is built on the foundation of death. I'll inform the kin. Here, I usually pay researchers for their work when they emerge from the ruins. But they won't be needing it anymore. Everyone is so generous. We completed the lost expedition. And, um... What? Oh, oh, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. I'm Calselmo's nephew. Mm -hmm. I help him around the laboratory. Okay, good boy. Uh, so, it's time for me to end this episode, but before we do, let's read a book, and let's read Dwarves Volume 1. It's sitting right here, glowing at us, begging us to read it. Let's read it. Dwarves, The Lost Race of Tamriel, Volume 1, Architecture and Designs, by Calselmo, Scholar of Markarth. Let me begin by correcting a common misconception. The proper term to use when referencing the ancient lost race of Tamriel is Dwemer. It is a word whose meaning is roughly translated to people of the deep in the common tongue and whose use has been widely replaced by the more ubiquitous nomenclature dwarves. I would like stated that I use the name dwarves in lieu of the more accurate term in these books out of sympathy for my readership whom I can safely assume does not have the breadth of scholarship that 200 years of study has given me. Oh, thank you so much, Kalsamo. With that small point finished, let us begin our discussion on the dwarves by focusing on the indisputable artifacts they have left behind, their architecture and cultural designs. Unlike the more controversial areas of dwarven scholarship, the construction of dwarven cities and relics are well founded due to the plethora of samples taken from the ruins these peoples have left behind. My own home city, Markarth, was originally one such ruin, and I can state from first-hand experience that all dwarven designs share a set of common principles that we can use to determine true artifacts from fakes and delineate patterns and methodologies that were important to their craftsmen. First of all, we can say for certain that dwarven artisans favored stone, at least as far as their buildings were concerned. This is no surprise. With notable exceptions, the vast majority of dwarven architecture is found underground or carved out of mountains. It is possible, although only theoretically, that the dwarves first mastered masonry as a race quite early, and later examples of metalwork were added on to much earlier stone designs as the dwarves began to master more complex tools. Regardless, the foundation of all known dwarven ruins is built on stonework, and the structure of dwarven stonework is sharp, angular, and intensely mathematical in nature. 
By a simple count, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of samples of dwarven buildings made of pre precise square shapes, and far fewer examples of discreetly rounded or curved stonework, leading us to believe that early dwarves favored trusted, well-calculated designs based on angled lines rather than riskier, more imprecise calculations based on arcs and curves. This comparatively simple tradition of stone cutting has nevertheless resulted in buildings that are as structurally sound today as they were thousands of years ago, making the works of our most skilled masons today seem like child's play in comparison. Metalwork, as far as we know, is the primary method used to make almost all dwarven crafts. We cannot, however, discount more easily destructible materials such as clay, paper, and glass from outside the scope of dwarven craftsmanship, but given the tendency of dwarven design to favor the long-lasting over the fragile, we can safely assume that at the very least metal was a heavy preference. And the metal used in all so far discovered dwarven relics is entirely unique to their culture. No other race has replicated whatever process was used to create dwarven metal. Although it can be easily mistaken for bronze, and in fact many forgers of dwarven materials use bronze to create their fake replicas, it is most definitely a distinct type of metal of its own. I have personally seen metallurgists attempt to combine several different types of steel and common and rare ores in order to imitate dwarven metal's exclusive properties, but the only method that has been successful is to melt down existing dwarven metallic scraps and start over from there. Yeah, thus all the scraps we found in this place. Yeah, there we go. I have now read that book, and I guess I'm going to add it to my collection because I picked it up. Because I do that kind of thing, don't I, Janessa? Yes, I do. That'll do it for this episode. When we come back next time, uh, he gave us a key to the uh, museum. I didn't get a quest for it, and I don't know where the museum is. Um... So I don't know if we'll explore this area a little bit more next time and see if we can't find where the museum is. We'll probably do that. And um, then we will do some other stuff. That's what we'll do. Make sure you come back next time. And uh, you can let me know if you enjoyed this episode by leaving me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.